hey guys uh, this is a walk through of copilot chrome plugin so for finding the chrome plugin you need to go to chrome web store and search for sciespace copilot <coughs> okay so we found the app now here we'll get an option to add to chrome since i have already added i am getting remove from chrome option okay so as soon as you click the cta of add to chrome you will land on this screen right now you can log in either from google or from the sciespace account which you have already created right so uh, i'll go and log in through sciespace account so this is the sign up option i'll click on login okay okay so now i'm logged in right now for quickly accessing the chrome plugin you can always pin the chrome plugin here so it will start coming up here so you know whenever you are on any web page you can quickly click this and uh, it will start showing the window where you can start asking questions okay so now uh, once you have added the chrome plugin what you can do is you can go on any uh, you know publisher website or any research paper uh, online and uh, start trying out the chrome plugin so now I am on uh, nature.com, right? I am looking at a research paper. Uh, now because I have already installed the Chrome plugin, this toolbar will always be visible to me, right? Now you can drag this Chrome plugin anywhere and then, you know, open it to start asking questions because, you know, a lot of times the content sometimes on the left side, sometimes the content is on the right side. So we are allowing the user to position it wherever they want, right? Uh, okay, so now, now once I've reached uh, the research paper, all I need to do is, uh, you know, click this uh, uh, icon for Copilot. So as soon as I click this, it will start analyzing the page and start, you know, reading the information from the page, right? So that after you ask any question, it can answer those questions, right? Now the analysis is complete. Now what you need to do is, uh, uh, you can see all these questions are already there. So you can, you know, maybe click methods used and it will answer that particular question. Okay. Okay. So it answered that question again, uh, you know, from the drop down here, you already have these suggestions. You can brainstorm more questions. So these, this particular feature are, you know, are taken from the Chrome, uh, the you know, Copilot, which we already have on the website. So these features are common, right? Uh, okay. So here now uh, you can always highlight the text and, you know, you can uh, summarize, ask to summarize or explain the text. So these functionalities all also work. These are also again similar to, okay. So there is some issue in Copilot, but yeah, ideally it should work. Okay, so yeah, so you can highlight the text and uh, you can get explanations, summaries and explanations, right? Okay, now, uh, now there is another option here. So you, because you know, a lot of times the content uh, uh, can be on the left side, on the right side. So uh, one feature is you can drag it. The second feature which we have is you can go to a split view mode, right? So as soon as you click go full screen, the complete, you know, Chrome plugin switches to a switch view mode where the complete website is on the left side and the Chrome plugin is uh, pinned on the right side, right? So now you can easily scroll through the content and read all the content and highlight all the content while the answer is coming on the right side, right? So there is no overlap of the Chrome plugin, you know, dialogue window over the content on which you are asking questions, okay? Now, uh, this is one thing. Uh, second is, you can, you know, so once you have, you know, asked a bunch of questions and you like the paper, now you can always save the paper in one of your collections on SciSpace, right? So here, as you can see in the drop down, I'm able to see nature papers. So this is a collection which I already created by going to SciSpace library. As you can see here, this is my SciSpace library on typeset.io slash library, right? This is a folder which I have already created. Now, 
while I'm searching through the internet, uh, once I like the paper, I should be able to save those papers in, uh, you know, library. And that's, that's the feature we have provided here, right? So as soon as you click save, this paper gets, this web page or this research paper gets saved in your library, right? So if I refresh it, okay, so this appeared here. Now all the collections, all the web pages you are surfing and adding and saving, it will start appearing in your library. Now here, uh, you know, from this web page directly, you can add a new collection as well. Right. So let's say I add science direct, right? So if I create it, that's also created. Okay. So now, uh, this web page got saved into science direct right now let's see so new new folder is created and the web page got saved in science direct and it was moved from nature papers to science direct right so he so from the chrome plugin directly you can you know create additional folders and start saving into those folders okay so this is a web page where, you know, the contents of the research paper is there, but you can always, uh, you know, go to a PDF as well. So for example, this is a science direct website. I have the, you know, publication content, but for better, better understanding, uh, you know, I might want to ask questions directly on the PDF. So for that, what I'll do is I'll click on view PDF. Okay. So now I reach the PDF. Now what I'll do is I'll again click this copilot icon. So it will start analyzing. Okay. So it again analyzed. Now if I click any of the custom questions. Okay. So it gave me answer for those custom questions. Right. Okay. So I can uh, directly ask questions on the PDF as well. Okay, so yeah, so that is it. And uh, here I can highlight, you know, the highlight still work, summarize, explain text, those options still work. I can, uh, you know, also sni use snip on top of a PDF, which currently is not there, you know, on uh, the website. Like if you go to any particular web page, you won't be able to use snip option. We don't have that currently, but uh, you know, we, the, we have that on PDF. So I'll show you that in a bit. Okay. So right now I am on a PDF. Okay. Uh, uh, which I've gotten from uh, Bailey.com. Right now I'll try and use copilot on top of it. So I'll just go ahead and press this button again, the copilot uh, icon. Right, so it analyzed the page and uh, the you know copilot window appeared. Now I can start asking questions here. So let's say I'll explain abstract in two lines. So it gave me an explanation for the abstract. Now, here on PDF, I can also use highlights. Okay, so I'll get summarize and explain text option. I can also use uh, you know snips. So I just need to select this option, go down and let's say this one, right? So I'll just snip this. Yeah. So basically it will give the explanation of uh, the, you know, snipped image as well okay yeah so yeah so you can use uh, you know copilot on any of the online available pdf as well through the chrome plugin 